No, nah, this is one of those things from 2019 or 18, so. Yeah. She's a big fat phony. Joanna's a big fat phony. It's like. Okay, we're just gonna ignore you. Get the fuck over here, you know? Because <laughs> I'm like doing this. I don't even know why I'm doing this because, like, it's one of those things where I'm like, yep, I don't like basketball as much as I like baseball or football, but fuck it. You know? Like, F it. You know? I have no skills on the hardwood. None. <laughs> None at all. Literally. I, I mean, I'm like. I'm like a, I'm a Federico, so I'm the one person that may be big, but is, is freaking useless on basketball. <laughs> really useless. Like, I don't even know anymore. I'm just like, I'm not respected in the big person community. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony would get that joke from inner community, but, you know, he's also not there anymore, so I don't know if he's from it. It ain't easy being the Phoenix Suns, who are straight trash. I don't, I don't know why I do this team, but I love to know what love is, because I keep doing bad teams all the freaking time. All the time. Ugh. Yeah, we got to get our cheesy 80s soap opera things in. All the time for you. Rachel thought she could screw on this cat, but she's a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. What you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. She's a lovely idiot, though. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. That's Rachel. Rachel, say the word what? Ah, uh, this is going to be hard. <laughs> Just say what, Rachel? What did Samuel L. Jackson say to someone when they kept saying this word? It's what? And Rachel would be like, no. It's flubber nubble. Flubber nubble. Like, it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, is going to make up words now? Okay. Yep. My controller is stupid. <coughs> nah, it's like this uh, thing with lag and NBA games where, like, you start going, oh, I'm going to pump fake and then I'm going to shoot. Yeah, and then it goes like, oh, he's going to pump fake and then not shoot and then get called for offensive uh, three second violation you're just like what what the fuck like I was shooting yeah that's you know that would be good teams like this is me bad teams you know yeah I finally got a basket uh, not, not a basket I finally got a basket with my number one draft pick it's called baskets damn it not biscuits baskets like we're shooting biscuits, damn it. Biscuits. Uh, she's an idiot. Who knows? Oh. Yeah, she'd be the one, like, with the fireworks going off and, uh, and shit. Be like, nothing to see here, folks. That was, that's my favorite, that, that, those movies are some of my favorite Rachelisms, where it's like, Naked Gun, yeah, she's Leslie Nielsen, like, she can melt a ha a cheese sandwich from halfway across the room, and everybody's like, how the fuck does that even work, like, you know? Uh, what do you want, Michael? I don't know, doctor. I want you. <laughs> Wait, bye now. <laughs> yeah, like, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I gotta say, like... That was when we gave 11. That was just... That got me crying. <laughs> that was funny. <coughs> yeah. Game 11 is pretty good. I like him. I love him. <laughs> that was not creepy at all. Yeah, he's a funny ass yeah, he's, yeah. He really is. I, 
yeah, I, I was kind of like Rachel. I didn't even know he was British, and everybody was just like, yo, he's got the most British accent ever. Like, what? Stand in the corner. You're not good at this game. Get in the corner. Wait, you're not even in the corner, Rachel. What, what do you want? Oh, my God. Yeah, but bad Batman in space, like not even like a good Batman. Yeah. Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Yeah, that was that was got, that got So this is at your job interview, right? Like this was just like something like that. Or? Oh, I thought you said it was like a job interview. I was like. Yeah, no, I was like, at a job interview, they're asking about Harvey Birdman. That's pretty cool. That would have been an awesome conversation. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, that would be unprofessional and stuff, but yeah, it'd be awesome, right? You just, like, easy job. But no, it's like, that's cool. I was like, damn. And I was like, who, who am I going to actually meet that still remember that show? Other than Joanna. You know, other than me. Yeah, like, who, who basically... You're dead to us. You didn't stay up that night last night, No, you didn't. Probably not. Yeah, you, you was missing much. Hey, you was missing some shows. I'm going to murder that aunt. Murder his whole family. I can never get into that one. Yeah. It was tough, but if you just like that whole redneck crap, it was kind of like something that you could still play with. Yeah. But man, Harvey Berman came on. Can you just hear that music? <laughs> Rachel would be the one, like, literally looking for a Birdman to represent her in court. Like, what? Rachel, that's the joke of the show. Yeah, like, those are the shows I never, like, Squidbillies I kind of got because it was just Hillbilly Squid stuff. Squidbillies was not bad. Yeah. But, like, Moral Oral or the Mr. Pickles, I'm just, that's just not what I'm into, you yeah, know? Mr. Pickles is just like Moral Yeah, that, that's... I can sit there and watch it because I don't mind it. Too. I can't even watch it because I'm not a gore person, so it's like... It may work for some people, it may be somewhat funny sometimes, but it's not something I'd actually watch the damn show. Like, I'm more... One thing I yeah. like about Mr. Pickles the most is when he was just pretending that he was talking, but he wasn't actually going all the time. I was, I was talking for him. I was like... <laughs> He's like, why can't you talk? <laughs> why are you talking? It's a fucking dog, dude. I know he's a de demonic dog, which is, I mean, always like the joke, right? Dog that murders people, but people are like too stupid to just be like, I'm getting the fuck out of town. Wait. <laughs> That's, That's like yeah. Kind of point. Yeah. They're all too dumb to like realize, hey, this dog's gonna kill us all and we're just not gonna have any food or whatever. Yeah, it's just not me. I only get into it because I just find the humor just funny. Well, Mr. Pickles? Yeah, Mr. Pickles is just too funny. Yeah, the weird thing is I'm up for some of that stuff, but not the gore. That gore kind of just makes me go, no. 
Like, I, I don't mind horror. There's some horror movies I do like, but, you know, like, Rick and Morty I could get behind a little bit because that gore is more, like, cartoonish and, like, it's not, yeah. It's just awesome, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it seems more sci-fi, too. Like, I am someone that is a more sci-fi orientated person, so if it's horror and there's a little bit of science fiction in there, I'm great. I love movies like Predator where they have an alien that can rip out the scalp of somebody, but give me like a serial killer that just does that? No, it's not what I want. You know, I would say... Well, I think that some of the fun with like the movie like Predator is you got a bunch of buff action heroes trying to fight an alien that can kill them within seconds. Terminator, same kind of thing. Yeah, I I think I heard of that from uh, Ryan Soloway. So, yeah, he he, he would yeah he he taught he said that one day. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I think um, I think the thing is though, like. For example, like Transformers and stuff like that. Everybody remembers Transformers. The real question is, how come they don't remember like GoBots or like things like that? Where it's like, yeah, it, sometimes like it's just weird because sometimes you have the same exact stuff, but something like neglects it. You know, something happens and all of a sudden, it's not even a question who gets there first. You know? Yeah. They just have heart, like the Zybots. That was good on real. Yeah. That's going in. Nope, it is not going in for them. Yes. He, he goes on to the next dude. Oh, come on. Yeah, no, that, that's also me too. Sometimes I'll be like that too, admittedly. I'll just be like, fuck it. I don't want to play baseball anymore. Do that. I do that enough. Uh, play basketball. You know? But like also because I mean I don't know I haven't played I've been playing only baseball and limited to only baseball for a couple of weeks so it's kind of nice to play different games sometimes. Yeah, it's like I mean yes, ninety percent of my channel is baseball, but like yeah, it's good to get like basketball in there. You know, just like. Thank you, Krista. You made my shot go in. Woo! Overall enthusiasm. Overall enthusiasm. Yeehaw. I said I better start subbing in some people. Damn. I just love that. Overall enthusiasm. Overall enthusiasm. Yeehaw. That's just, that's just so dumb. It's, but it's awesome. Yeah, no. I mean, I get you because it's like. It's also like the what the show is. It's not like a joke that breaks the show. Like sometimes with some shows you like they just broke the show because they wanted to make a joke. Like Family Guy does it a lot, but Family Guy is also not you know, like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But like also I mean like oh man. I, I mean, I always used to be into Family Guy, but Family Guy just went, like, too far until, like... Yeah. Like, Not really.
Yeah, it's also like really hurtful to people that are that race. That's why, like, if you made a couple of trans jokes about me or around me, I'd be like, okay, I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with that. You know, um, I hate to like, you know, just be like that, but I'm not gonna sit here and, yeah. Yeah, that's also kind of dumb. It's like the, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the other thing is, like, I mean, 